my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. I've always wanted to do these videos, like every YouTuber says like I'm stalking people online because I'm nosy as hell and I want to see what's in their bag. Also, um, I'm going to be sniffling maybe 20,000 times during this video so don't hate me but I'm sick and I can't help it so I'm sorry. So I actually got this bag as a birthday gift last year oh, because I just turned 24 in December and my mom wanted to buy me a new black bag because I have like no black bags for some weird ass reason so i bought this bag or rather my mom bought this bag for me on the coach outlet website so the bag that i have is the coach jess crossbody and you can see i think one of the main reasons why i wanted to get this bag is because of this outline here like this to me is just i don't know kind of different and low-key but you can see it still it has here gold detailing on the side. It has here, this will focus. Um, it has like the coach detailing here, which is really nice. And the back just has this little slip here. Um, the only thing that I don't really love about this bag is the straps. Like, don't get me wrong, like I also like this part, but I like to have my crossbody like super close to my butt. Like, maybe right below my boob, so hanging like here, you know, so when I put it over it's like here. I like it really close to me. But this does not give me the options, like this is basically the lowest um, hole it can go through. And when I put it on like this, you can't even see the bag, it's gone. It's like all the way down there, like it's too low for me and there's no way to adjust that. The only thing I can do is obviously switch out the straps, but I want to keep this strap because it's like so, like, so sturdy and thick as you can see here, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's actually start with what's in my bag. So on the outside here, I just have my hand sanitizer. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is the Hands Off My Honey scent, which smells really, really good. So if you didn't know, I'm living in Germany at the moment and there is no Bath & Body Works around. So I literally stock up on all of my stuff. I have about 50 of these like sitting over there in the corner. So I'm never running out of hand sanitizer. Um, in the back slip here, I have this blotting sheet, which I just got from one of the drugstores here in Germany, an extra scrunchie. What else is in here? New gum. Always need to have gum with me. And basically, that's it for this strap here. And so at the top, you can see there's two zippers like this. The bag is actually really, really big and it's like, it feels like real leather. I'm not 100% sure. And I think it can stretch with more junk fitting in there. And I mean, I like to carry quite a bit of stuff anyways and it all fits in here nicely. So if we go to the very front, not much really in here, but you can kind of see there. I have this coach, um, I think it's called the Zip Around Coin Wallet. I will include it in um, the description below if you want um, to find it yourself. Um, I got it on sale. So I think I got it a week before December 16th. So I think this came up to like $15. I think the bag came out to around $88, $89. And I think it was originally like $200. This zip around wallet was originally $78 as you can see from the tag but yeah no I didn't pay that so this wallet I keep it's like all of my reward cards um, random cards like a metro card like I said I live in Germany but I don't know why I need a metro card actually I do I wear fake nails and I don't know like it's kind of ghetto but growing up you know you need a metro card to pop off your nails so I always kept the metro card in my wallet um, then I have my actual wallet I don't, I can't remember the name of this wallet off the top of my head, but like I said, I will link it in the description bar below and you can find it yourself. So basically not, not too much stuff in here, like I said, because of that other little wallet, I was able to save some space here. You know, just my cards and stuff. Um, I got no money because I hate carrying cash, so you can see it's just flies falling out of there. Um, it's a really, really nice wallet. Like this is probably one of my favorite wallets ever. Like I love these like clip 
I don't know what you would call this, like envelopes, mini envelope wallet. It's so cute. And I kept the tag again, just to show you how much it cost originally. It cost $168. I think I paid around 40. I think it was about $40 from the Coach Aula website. Then to the corner, I just carry this chapstick. It's the Baby Lips chapstick. This is the Dr. Rescue, so it's actually the medicated one. Um, and that's basically it for the front pocket. Now the back zipper is, you know, I'm not that proud of the organization because I'm a very organized person. Yeah. This is just like a little overview of the back. You can see it's bustling with things. So let's try this out. So in the back, in this like, clip part there. There's actually no zipper in the back, it's just like this open flap. Um, I have this dollar and Jamaican and I feel like it is a Jamaican, I don't know, tradition or thing that if someone gives you a bag or a wallet there has to be money in it because you're not supposed to give people bags or purses without any money in it, it's bad luck. Um, in the back I also carry travel perfumes because you always need perfumes on the go. That's Yope. I have Gucci Memoir. Don't judge me, I'm not French. There's a little dot at the top of that. I don't know how you would pronounce that, so. Next perfume I got recently is the Michael Kors Wanderlust travel size perfume. And then the DKNY Stories perfume. There's one more. The Joe Love Pomelo. Never heard of them and it seems like I've used it, but Ew, this hair. But I don't remember. Last thing in the back of there is this portable like charger. So it kind of comes out like this, and I use this to plug into my portable charger and then plug into my phone. Following that, it's my portable charger. It's at full charge right now. The next I have, I always have a body mist with me, so I carry the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Body Mist. And then I have some tissue. Um, I have a mirror here from Ibiza. I have this portable brush. I have my sunglasses I got from Amazon. Next, I have um, a travel lip gloss. This is not the one that I'm wearing now, but just a cheap one that I carry with me. Then I have uh, my hand cream, which is the Vanilla Bean Noel. It's like one of my staple scents. Oh, we're already at the end of this video. So the last thing I have in my bag, which is actually really recent, is my AirPods. Now, quick backstory, not to hold you guys up, but I never expected or wanted to buy AirPods. You'll see in a video before this in my New York City vlog is when I bought this is AirPods. I only bought it because, first of all, I had a company discount and I was giving up one of my iPhones. I had an extra iPhone, so I gave that in and then I got a discount from my job and then I ended up only paying about 70 bucks for this. So I was like, why not? The fake ones are like 30. You know what I mean? So $30 more and you get the real deal. I got this case from Shein. The case was just $3. Uh, the case is not the best. If you open it, you can see like, it's like lifting the case. Like it should not be doing that. Hello. That's basically everything that I carry in my bag. I will try to link everything that I mentioned in the description bar below so that you can get it too. And hopefully you can get it on sale. Oh.